Alright, so about midway through 2019, I took a claw out of my Lego stash and I thought, you know, this looks cool. So I ended up putting it on my finger. It wasn't big enough for my hand, so I ended up putting it on my finger and I was like, you know what? What if I could make this a full sized hand? So I went ahead and I done that. But it, well, I don't have any photos of it or videos of it because I didn't think it was so cool. But over the past few nights, I have made some improvements to it. Um, yeah, some really good improvements. So, you know what? I'll walk you through it and I'll go through the design stages and how I got there and yeah. Oh wait, I forgot to show you it. Here it is. This is what I've been working on over the past two nights. Pretty cool. An epic claw hand that moves as your fingers move. Finger? Fingers move. As your fingers move. Now, I spent the past night, the whole night, just working on the first four primary fingers and getting the movements perfect to my fingers. And let me tell you, it was a tough process of trial and error. There were some videos I put up, um, but yes, it was, you know, very tough. After many different um, trial stages, I came up with a piston type of movement for the fingers. So, as you can see, it moves as a piston would. And, yeah. So, I worked on the index finger first and the pinky first. I don't know why I done those two, but I'm glad I did the index and the pinky first. The index was the easiest. The pinky was the hardest. And it was just so flimsy. And considering my pinky isn't that, you know, long, it was hard to, you know, make a... a catch for it. Is that what you'd call it? No. A proper, a proper pinky holding system. That's what I meant. <laughs> but yes, um, it was tough because um, I had to get all the measurements of all my fingers and basically plug them into in each of these and raise the bricks by or plates by however my fingers required it to. So after that, I had gotten um, onto well, developing this whole piston system basically because all of these finger holding systems were very flimsy they would move around and it would just mess up the whole movement of the fingers after all the fingers were completed I um, took a rest and then go back to it at an evening and started working on the thumb this whole system over here. Now, this one is a bit tough because I didn't know how I was actually going to, you know, move it as a thumb does, considering I based off of the fingers on an actual fingers movement. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now, I haven't nailed down the three different joints on a finger, but hopefully I get those sooner or later. But yes, nailing down the movements on the thumb were pretty hard, so I had to create this gimbal sort of system with many different joints, and it and it just works like a thumb now, and it even locks into place at the back, so you can pull it back out, which is pretty good. It it represents um, my double joint in my thumb, so. That works pretty great. I'm, I was surprised I was actually able to replicate a double joint with Lego Technic pieces. Pretty cool. And for fun, I just added a little web shooter right at the wrist. So, um, yeah, this is Andrew's web shooter from The Amazing Spider-Man 1. I don't know if it makes a resemblance, but I hope it does. But yes. That is my Lego Technic mechanical hand. I spent many hours on this and no 
no pre-planning, no nothing. I just picked it up and I was like, you know what? Let's make some improvements. And here we are now. <laughs> All right, so the wrist of the hand is essentially made up of, um, what would you say? Two, um, two, four, about four different sections, which um, allow the move, allow allow the movement of the wrist to be pretty free. It's mainly this joint over here, and then these joints at the bottom, which are for the movement, and also you know putting it on. And then next up, we have the thumb, which is moving up and down. And then we have the thumb holder. Yes, the thumb holder. <laughs> and then the thumb claw. And this all moves like the gimbal system. Up, down, up, down, left, right. And also the clue. The clue. Bruh. The claw is movable too. Now, with the fingers, it's all essentially the same movement. Um, the finger holders uh, have the piston system which allow for better movement in the fingers which the fingers joints are located over here in all four of them so the piston joint moves as the finger moves well basically you can decide when you can move the piston joints it's mainly used when you're pushing your fingers far back and yeah that's that's about it this is the first piston on the index finger, which I had made at about 2 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, um, it worked pretty smoothly. Yeah. So I went ahead and applied all of the pistons to all of the fingers, and it seemed to work pretty smoothly after that. And I hadn't taken into account that it still needed more improvement, but it was working completely fine, I guess. Yeah. With the pistons working fine now, I had encountered the problem of the finger holders not being able to stay straight the whole time. As you can see here, it was completely wrong. <laughs> I thought pushing it far back into my fingers would make it stay, but it, that just made my fingers hurt and bruise a lot more. But I mean, it held pretty well, with a good amount of pain. Now from here on I created a secondary piston system which aided the main piston system which made the finger holders a lot more sturdier and it worked great with my index fin finger. So I was like, you know what, let's add that to the rest. And well, I went ahead and added it to the rest of the fingers, and it worked great. Except for the pinky. The pinky was always really stubborn, but I'm sure that's just my little pinky, but yes. And after I completed the fingers, I moved on to the thumb joint, which is surprisingly really well articulated. And here it is in all of its glory, the whole hand working in unison. Pretty cool. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm pretty proud of this. I really like it. I still need to work on it, but it's great right now. And yeah, this is the Lego mechanical hand I built in all of its glory. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's a bit rusty right now, but this is the first version, so I hope to improve on I hope to improve on later. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I have tried to hold things with it. That does not work well. Um, but we'll get to that. We'll, we'll fix it with my actual hands and the brain. <laughs> and, yeah. Thank you for watching.